since I'm down, sorry, let me be loud and then. Hello, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Uh, my name is Riaz, um, although I'm from um, Islamic State. I was actually uh, a banker, Islamic banker. Um, I, I can see that um, there were some uh, issues and arguments uh, arising in terms of this thakafin. This is a burning question that I understand. And I can, uh, uh, as I have uh, you know, heard from um, uh, one of the speakers uh, here, that um, this takaful, what, what, what is what I would like to know that uh, takaful is it an uh, Islam an Arabic uh, term which means an Islamic insurance or is it itself uh, means insurance? And these are the actually uh, questions which um, uh, we have to address uh, to the uh, uh, you know uh, people who, where we are going to do the Islamic uh, marketing of takaful. Uh, in particular, we have to start from our home, I mean, uh, to the Muslim uh, world. Because of this is a global issue, and we are not only addressing uh, the Muslim community, niche marketing, we are addressing a mass, mass marketing, of which uh, the first speaker, uh, uh, Shaquille, uh, Abid Shaquille, he told that uh, our actually goal is to go to uh, penetrate the uh, mass marketing. So, but default should be there that it should be a default system in order to start from our home. So, because a, as I un understand from experience uh, that uh, lots of people when uh, I have uh, come across after um, a long years of experience of Islamic banking that I can see still uh, throughout 12 uh, years, after 12 years, 15 years, there are lots of uh, the people, the consumers, they are quite unaware of the terms okay, what Islamic is. Yeah. The question is, please. And the question is, my question is actually that uh, uh, how would you address these issues? The, I mean, these uh, terms and definitions, how do you okay. takaful, clarify? Can, okay. I, can I please uh, uh, sure. you know, yeah. finish it? Then do you have a, a globally accepted policies and procedures in order to address these issues globally? And first of all, you'll start it from uh, your own home, I mean, the, in Islamically. Okay, takaful is, a, is, a, is an Arabic word, it's the sixth form of the word kafala, and it is a mazdar, and it can be translated uh, in any way you want, because Arabic is a polysemantic, uh, you know, Semitic language, and you can have all sorts of, uh, of translation, actually. So it means, uh, you know, mutual supporting, you can do translation, but it's, it's absolutely, absolutely classical Arabic. Bilal. Just a second, uh, Alberto, on that. The kafal with the uh, it does come from the root word of kafal, and also that we have a separate uh, instrument called kafala, which is the guarantee. So the kafal, uh, in Arabic, any word that has uh, it comes on the scale, as we say, wasn't of uh, tafa'ul or mufa'ala, means there's mutuality in that. So the kafal would, would mean mutual guarantee. Uh, my question is for Ajmal uh, Bati. Um, I'm always impressed by his uh, views, especially on uh, Islamic microfinance and uh, micro takaful. I mean, that's something not many people speak on and it does go back to the higher objectives of Sharia and the uh, objectives of Islamic economics. Uh, firstly, the fact that you're based in, uh, in the MENA region, uh, especially in, uh, in Dubai, uh, what are the current uh, Islamic microfinance and takaful developments in that region uh, and what's the way forward, number one? Uh, and number two, given that uh, governments can play a big role in this, especially through public-private partnerships to effectively channel subsidies through micro takaful, do you think there's a role for them and regulations in promoting uh, micro takaful? Thank you. Thank you. Um, shall we go on? Yeah. Um, um, your, your question on uh, what is being done in the MENA region on the micro uh, takaful, uh, the answer is actually not much. Uh, um, there are sort of uh, micro insurance, uh, micro finance uh, on conventional side, uh, um, few projects uh, going on. Uh, there are some in Jordan. Um, but um, in the MENA region, um, in the North African uh, countries, none. Uh, Sudan, of course, has uh, micro uh, uh, takaful. 
but I think this is something that uh, needs to be done. Uh, we are trying to do something for Egypt. Uh, we are talking with uh, mm, uh, some uh, agencies there, and it'll be done for the the country itself, not not for a company, uh, so that you know there is some some uh, dialogue with the regulator itself. Um, coming up, I don't want to name the the organizations yet, but uh, those organizations are going to possibly work with the regulator in Egypt to see how micro takaful can actually be put put in place. Uh, in tandem with the microfinance on Islamic basis. This is something we are trying to do, uh, but as I said, on the access without borders, we are also looking at countries like Pakistan and elsewhere, where we can actually put a few things together that can actually uh, um, maybe s have a, a, a good start on the thing. One other um, uh, possibility is to come up with a kind of a platform, because microinsurance actually becomes uh, quite expensive uh, proposition uh, because you are actually talking about small amounts of money to be administered and handled and you need the IT system and so on. So so that has a cost to it. So we are trying to see if there is a, a common platform uh, connecting to the technology, the cloud technology and all that, that can be put together and be available to the Takaful com com companies around the region where they actually can come and go uh, and, and offer the cover to, to the various NGOs and MFIs that can work together. Okay, thank you, Ajman. Uh, that was the last question. Uh, we're coming to a close. Uh, the session was on reflection. We were supposed to look back where we went right, where we didn't go right, so that we can go forward. After this, there's another session uh, on understanding the Takrul ban, which will be under the coffee break. So. I uh, I now close this session. I will be like Taufik Wahidaya. Assalamualaikum warahmatullah.